Though often overlooked, the tent stake is a critical component that contributes to your shelter's overall strength. Choosing the best stake for the environment that you'll be in will ensure that you stay dry, protected, and safe in your shelter. Today we're going to look at the various factors that affect the effectiveness of tent stakes as well as the designs that are going to offer the most holding power. There are three major factors that contribute to a stake's holding power. The first is stake design, the second is stake length, and the third is the type of soil that you're putting the stake into. A stake driven into hard ground will have more holding power than that same stake put in loose ground and a stake that's longer will have more holding power than that same stake that's shorter given that all the other conditions are held constant. So now let's dive into the differences in design. For sandy or snowy environments you're going to want to get a stake that's designed specifically for these conditions. Stakes designed for sand offer a long spiral design to offer adequate holding power in loose ground. Then there are these snow stakes which conveniently work in sand as well but in firm snow, you can use them vertically like you would a regular stake. In loose snow, however, it's best to use them horizontally as a dead man anchor. To see more about what a dead man anchor is and how to build one, click on that video card icon. But I also want to mention that the other great part about these snow stakes is that their width, length, and color make them much easier to find them in the snow when you're packing everything up. But now, let's move on to stakes with a Y-beam design. Y-beam stakes offer the most holding power in many of the soil conditions that you're likely to experience while you're out camping. For non-freestanding tents, which depend on good stake out points to remain standing, we highly recommend investing in a set of Y-beam stakes for all of those critical stake out points. This is just going to help you stay dry, safe, and secure. Y-beam stakes resist bending. They stand up to multiple uses on hard ground and they don't spin once they're in place. That's a really nice feature. Y-beam stakes are going to be your best bet for most types of three season camping. Y-beam stakes made out of titanium or aluminum are going to be the most durable. However, there are injection molded plastic Y-beam stakes that offer a lot of holding power but just don't work quite as well when you run into that rocky ground. A close second in holding power is the V-stake. Like the Y-stake, the V-stake resists bending and doesn't twist in the ground. Another option is the nail stake. Usually made out of titanium or steel, the nail stake is quite durable and often quite long. Its length is what helps it rival the holding power of the shorter Y-stake or V-stake. Now the downside with the nail stake is that it tends to be heavier and it can spin even after being placed in the ground. Lastly, there are stakes with the shepherd hook design. These type of stakes are found with most new tents. These are usually fairly lightweight and their narrow design makes them easier to work around rocks that might be hiding out underground. However, compared to a Y stake or a V stake of the same length, these are going to offer less holding power and be more likely to bend. They can also spin after being placed, which means that you do run the risk of a guy line slipping off your stake after you've put it in the ground. Despite all that, shepherd hook stakes are going to work well for freestanding tents in most conditions. Now that we've talked about the holding power of the different stake designs, let's talk about proper angle to drive the stakes into the ground. Field practices indicate that the stakes installed vertically will have greater holding power than in other orientations. A vertical staking position maximizes the soil wedge that provides resistance to the forces applied to the stake by the guy lines. With stakes pounded in vertically, you'll want to ensure that your guy lines are long enough so that the stakes aren't being pulled upward at a steep angle. Keep in mind that the further you drive the stake into the soil, the greater the surface area of the stake that will be in contact with the soil, thus offering greater holding power. I hope this information helps you stay dry, safe, and comfortable on your next camping trip. Because after all, home is where you stake it. To shop our selection of tent stakes, click right here on that orange shop button. And for more camping tips and tricks, be sure to click right here on this video.